Hey everybody, welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, I will do the exercise Weather Observation Station 7 from the subsection Basic Select of the Section SQL from HackerRank. In this question, we're given the stable station that has the columns ID, city, state, lat, n, and long w. Uh, for the purposes of this question, we only care about the city column. So we're asked to list all the city names that, star, uh, that actually end with a vowel. That is A, E, I, O, or U character. And the result cannot contain duplicates. So that's a distinct city, right? So let's get started. I'm going to do two solutions in my SQL. The first one using like, and the second one using regex. So let's get started by visualizing what the data looks like. So I always like to do select star from station here to see what it looks like. So this is what the data looks like. As you can see, there's multiple columns, ID, city, stage, lat, n, and long w. We want to care about city for the purposes of this question. So it's going to be the second column here. So we're looking to find all the city names that end in a vowel. So obviously, this first one wouldn't appear, nor would this. So basically, this these two would have to appear, Glencoe and Chelsea. So how can we do that? Oh, well, first we need to select, instead of star, we want the city name. So we're going to select the column city. And because we don't want any duplicates, as you can see here, we're going to add distinct before the name of the column city. Now, to filter these things, we're going to add a where clause here at the end, where. Now, where the city, now we have to say in was, ends with a vowel. So we got to do each vowel here. So let's say ends in A. So we're going to say where city like quotes a percent a okay so it could be whatever followed by the ending being the a vowel okay and then you got to do the same pattern here for every other vowel so or use the or city like quotes percent e so it means ends in the e vowel and then our city like percent i, so it ends in i, or the city like percent o ends in o, or city like percent u ends in u. Now let's check it out. Let's run code. And there you go. That's the solution using like. Now, if you notice, the solution is pretty long because you got to do city like or city like or city like or city like. Uh, there's a better version if you, a short version if you use regular expression. So let me show you what it looks like. So we're going to say where city, but instead of like, we're going to say reg x, R E G E X P. And then we're going to do quotes here. And we have to specify the regular expression pattern. Uh, this one is different from the pattern for like, okay? So here we have to explicitly, okay, so we have a vowel. What is it? It's a character that could be either A or E or I or O or U. So we're going to say square brackets here. And we're going to say A, E, I, O, U. What does it mean here? It means, okay, I'm going to try to find, capture a single character that could be either of these characters within the square brackets. So it's either A or I or I. A or E or I or O or U. And then we have to say it's at the end, right? It's ending in that. So we have to say right here the dollar sign. That means, okay, this is the end of the string. So it's a character at the end. And anything before that, it, it doesn't really matter. It could be anything. So that's the difference with like. In regular expression, it's implicit that it could be followed uh, anything before here, but whereas like you have to explicitly say percent to say whatever comes before. Well, let's run code and see what this does. And if you notice, I put lowercase, so the case does not matter for regex here in my SQL. So I have to both capture uppercase and lowercase vowels. And there you go, that's the solution. Let's click submit code. And that was weather observation station seven.